Thank you. So thank you, sir, for joining us today in this conversation for healthcare.in. And it's really a pleasure for us that you are uh, a, we are, uh, you're taking your time out for this thing and helping us also. So, sir, should Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, please continue. So, sir, should I start with the question? Yeah, for sure. So, sir, uh, my first question would be, we are seeing that AI is being the recent trending topic almost everywhere and also it, now we see AI in almost every aspect of our life. So, do you think that India is ready to adopt AI in the healthcare industry and is ready and will be able to do it in the future? Uh, see, uh, before understanding the, this question, the answer of this question, you need to understand that how AI is impacting right now. Uh, you have to understand about the market size of AI. See, right now, market size of uh, uh, artificial intelligence, in particularly healthcare, it is somewhere around USD 5 billion. Okay. And it is expected to reach uh, by 2026 around 45 billion. So it will going to expand almost around uh, uh, nine times if you are comparing with today's scenarios. And if, if you understand that if any industry is growing by nine times in just five or six years of time period, uh, you can understand that uh, it will going to impact at a very bigger level. Actually, uh, common people do not uh, realize that how they are impacting uh, with the technology until and unless you start analyzing things. Uh, just I'm giving you an example of uh, uh, internet. So before Jio came in force, uh, have you, uh, how, how we were using internet? We used to do, uh, we used to have one or two GB of data, okay, for uh, one, min one month period, and that was too costlier. But once Jio came, everyone's life has changed. Everyone are now online. Everyone is on Facebook, Instagram, so lifestyle, uh, thinking of the uh, stuff is also changed. But, but uh, people are not realizing that how it is changed. Okay, so this is how uh, AI is going to impact and the major factor which are going to uh, increase this uh, AI drive uh, is like just increasing volume of healthcare data. Now you are you may be aware that uh, uh, hospitals and uh, government sectors are also trying to generate healthcare data. They are taking uh, uh, healthcare records from the patients. They are taking printouts and all. It is started in India. Okay, and along with that uh, growing complexity of uh, data sets, which are also driving a uh, need for artificial intelligence. Uh, so obviously, um, the large number of data is going to uh, come towards you. So you need to be uh, make it that data in a simple form. Okay, so that for there also you you will going to need artificial intelligence. Also, uh, we need a artificial intelligence to reduce healthcare cost. Uh, as uh, for this uh, right now in this particular COVID pandemic, uh, we all are aware that if you are going in a private hospital, so what will be the cost for four or five days uh, hospital stay? Okay, it will be in lakhs for co uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So how we can reduce it? How we can just uh, uh, use our technology to make this uh, particular cost to go down? So it is very important for any country. Okay. Also, improving a computing power and declining hardware costs. These are also going to be a major impact for this uh, uh, artificial drive to come in force. As we all are aware that every six months, so if just a simple uh, example of a mobile phone, you are purchasing a mobile phone. Within a six month, the price of that mobile phone is going down. And new things are coming up. New technology is coming up. Same way in artificial intelligence also. Computing power is increasing and along with that hardware cost is declining. So which is also going to uh, give a bigger impact for artificial intelligence to come in force. Uh, also, apart from that, uh, right now in this era, in this world right now, if we are witnessing a uh, growing uh, number of cross industry partnership and collaborations. Okay. Uh, it was not there prior, but now uh, as you, uh, it is very important for pharmaceutical industry that right now pharmaceutical industry are partnering with IT in industries, okay, which is very important and it is uh, already they are partnering, okay, so it will also going to impact 
uh, AI healthcare. It will going to increase it. Apart from that, uh, uh, there is also a rising imbalance between healthcare workforce. Okay, now people also want facilitate workforce is also wants to be managed in a proper way. So for that also artificial intelligence is going to be useful. And apart from that, a uh, patience, which is a main, uh, we can say a main uh, portion of the whole healthcare system. So they also require improvised healthcare services. Day per day, their, um, uh, their expectations are high from health professionals also uh, uh, for the services. And definitely, as I discussed earlier, that there is a big boost uh, of artificial intelligence due to COVID-19. So uh, as your question is, uh, when uh, uh, India is going to adapt in this particular environment of AI, so let me tell you that India has already started working with AI in healthcare for a long period of time. Okay, before few years back only they have started. And let me give you a simple example of CADD. So you all, you all are aware that almost all the indigenous pharmaceutical industries which are there in drug research are using CADD. That is computer assisted drug designing for developing drug candidates. Also there is a, one example is the medical rap recording system. Uh, so if you people are from the student background right now, if you are studying, you, you may not be aware, but uh, the medical representatives who are working uh, in uh, field, so they have to report to the company that where exactly they are working and to whom they are going to visit, uh, what will be their purpose, everything they have to keep record of that. Prior it was uh, done by uh, directly through the paperwork, but now uh, medical reporting systems are developed in a certain way that the, the company can actually understand that where exactly his medical representative is working whether he is working in the particular area or not or he is in the at the home itself so they they try to uh, analyze from that also they are taking data and they analyze that okay particular this area is weak in cells then why it is weak so from data they will try to retrieve reasons and the, it is going to give a big impact to the industry and there is also one example that is for big hospitals that that was already i discussed that data synchronization they have already started it they are keeping your records patient history everything they are keeping in rep record they are also uh, keeping on re uh, record about the uh, prescription records so it is going to be impact in a bigger level in a future and also uh, uh, with this uh, uh, question, I also going to uh, inform you all about an excellent startup example that is uh, Stan Plus. Uh, Stan Plus is Hyderabad based ambulance startup. Uh, actually, how what they did? Uh, if uh, generally we used to say before that ki bhai is country mein pizza 30 minute mein aa jata hai, lekin ambulance nahi aati. But uh, what they did, they created a system that within 50 minutes, 15 minutes, sorry, within 15 minutes, you will get ambulance at your doorstep. So this is uh, using AI. Uh, they are creating the shortest, shortest route. So this is how uh, things are uh, working right now. And the person from behind the stand plus is also uh, from pharma background. And recently, a uh, few, few, I think a year back, they have. Uh, got a funding of around more than 1 million. So this is how things are changing very rapidly. So uh, India has already adopted in artificial in, uh, intelligence environment. That's good to hear and thank you so, for so much information, sir. That really helped me boost my knowledge about AI because I did not know about these recent developments. So yeah. thank you, sir. Uh, so proceeding to the next question, my next question is, uh, do you think, like, what is your opinion on uh, whether AI has somewhere helped in combating the pandemic? If yes, how? See, definitely we can say that artificial intelligence is used in every aspects of COVID-19 pandemic. It is used from diagnostic uh, to development of medicines, drugs, vaccines. It is also used in uh, uh, treatment monitoring, uh, tracing COVID positive individuals. Uh, projection of cases, mortality, and reducing workload of health healthcare workers. So everywhere, uh, uh, this uh, artificial intelligence used uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic. I will 
me just to give you a, br a brief about drug and vaccine development that how uh, actually it works. So as, as I'm aware that the people from pharma background are going to uh, listen this lecture. So uh, see a new coronavirus is single stranded RNA virus. Okay, we all aware about that. And it, it has some proteins. Uh, we can simply uh, uh, call it as a receptors. Uh, so humans have S2 receptors, okay, where this uh, uh, spike protein, uh, they are calling it as a, a protein S or spike protein mm -hmm. from this particular virus. Uh, it uh, interact with that S2 receptor in humans, okay. So using artificial intelligence, AI scientists did virtual screening of both uh, repurposed medicines and new chemical entities, okay. Uh, now, repurposed medicines means uh, uh, the medicines which already have proven safety records, which are already there in the market for some other conditions. Okay, so using artificial intelligence, actually, uh, uh, they recognize the off-target biology of existing uh, medicines, and uh, they utilize it for the purpose of clinical trials. They they can they get got an idea that whether this particular medicine is going to be useful uh, for artificial uh, means for this particular pandemic treatment for coronavirus treatment or not. Uh, I will give you an example of uh, benevolent AI. Uh, it's an artificial intelligence company. They identified that medicine uh, Barsitinib, which is already approved for rheumatoid arthritis, uh, has positive effect on novel coronavirus, means it is uh, useful for COVID-19 conditions. Now also they have also uh, they also uh, recognize that lopinavir or ritonavir or remdesivir any antiviral medicines along with uh, barsitinib if given then it improves COVID-19 outcomes. So how they did it? They did it using data and computing power. They recognize that particular this uh, uh, arthritis medicine along with uh, anti antivirals which are already available if it is given to COVID-19 patients it improves the uh, effect okay also a uh, very interesting research was done by a uh, scientist from korea um, uh, the name of the scientist was bagbo uh, what uh, what he actually did he did a molecular transformed uh, uh, transform drug target interaction to predict the binding affinity values between commercially available antiviral drugs and target proteins now, as we all are aware that during the particular process of uh, this uh, DNA um, replication, there are many enzymes, okay, enzymes are proteins in nature, uh, in nature they are proteins. So, this enzyme just like a helicase, RNA polymerase, exonucleases, there are many exam, uh, many uh, different type of proteins are useful during this uh, uh, novel coronavirus uh, replication process. So they identified those all proteins and they tried to uh, target those particular protein. Okay, there are uh, many options were there that they can block S2 receptors also, but uh, actually S2 receptors are also present in uh, uh, heart as well as kidney, also in intestine. So if they are uh, targeting those particular, they are uh, putting antagonist of that particular receptor, uh, it will going to give uh, so many, uh, we can say, uh, reactions okay these uh, organs may got fail so for that purpose uh, for this particular covid 19 pandemic covid coronavirus they need some other ways okay so what these scientists recognize there is uh, uh, there is a drug anti hiv drug uh, atazinavir which is approved by fda uh, during 2003 so uh, this medicine had highest affinity towards this this proteins which i discussed earlier Okay, now there is also a medicine Caletra, ABV Caletra, which is already right now it is also employed in COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So uh, it is a combination of liponavir and ritonavir. So he predicted that the potential affinity of this novel coronavirus has helicase and, and later he recognized that uh, uh, that particular positive result also came from clinical trials. They have sent this ABV uh, company, they have sent some of the uh, free samples to China to actually see the clinical trials of this uh, particular uh, uh, particular medicine. So they found out positive results. Okay. 
so that this is a proven record that uh, how uh, using artificial intelligence and data analytics uh, they found out that that kaletra is useful actually they got a, a, a basic picture whether this uh, then they are sending that particular medicine to clinical trial and they recognize that whether that particular medicine uh, is going to be effective or not also there is one uh, jnj's uh, anti hiv drug uh, which is combination of darunavir and covid 6 tap uh, prescoxib which was also sent to china and it was also uh, uh, using this uh, particular method this uh, scientist has this korean scientist he has recognized that this particular medicine will also have affinity uh, towards this particular proteins of dna replication uh, of coronavirus uh, and uh, uh, there is also an example of a co company called atomwise they also uh, focusing towards the uh, sars cov2 protein binding sites now as you people i am not sure whether you are aware or not that uh, there is not uh, this multi there are uh, many coronavirus species are available mm. there is uh, not a single species is there that we have to combat against so what they try to do they recognize the basic protein which is available almost in uh, all the coronavirus species and try to develop a, a broad spectrum antiviral medicine okay and uh, they, they have did it using atomnet they have a system called atomnet uh, using uh, deep convolution neural network uh, using that they screened on almost millions of virtual compounds okay virtually they screened almost millions of compounds for uh, for the which they they think that they have affinity towards those particular proteins and they also partner with a uh, uh, few of the academic researchers Uh, so that they will send their predicted compounds in the in vitro assay so this level of work is done in particular uh, uh, level of we can say a vaccine development or drug development it also towards vaccine development they have also identified the particular genomes using artificial intelligence so many work is done uh, uh, by ai okay for this particular uh, uh, drug development apart from um, the diagnosis part if we talk about that that if you are just taking imaging okay ct scan or mri scan it predict you the presence of covid 19 it also predict the uh, lung involvement that percentage of lung involvement so it make easier for doctors to uh, recognize to that the particular candidate should go ahead with the trials or not so this level of uh, work is performed using artificial intelligence also a very good example of contact contact tracing is there uh, this uh, app which we are using arogya setu app okay so if someone some person is uh, nearby you who is having covid positive it gives you a signal so this level of work is performed using ai uh, generally if, if you are downloading this particular app you you never know that it uh, it is working through ai Okay, but yes, it is. It is a part of it. So uh, many such examples are there where artificial intelligence is used uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you, sir. Shortly, there are many wonders of AI that I'm hearing for the first time, and thank you so much for letting us know about all of it, sharing your part of knowledge with us. So, sir, uh, a part of this question you already answered, but still, if I would say that. if ai is being used for a uh, disease identification diagnosis and a uh, screening itself then in uh, for clinical research what work is ai doing how is it aiding clinical research see uh, clinical research as already uh, we discussed a brief of it that uh, clinical research uh, ev everywhere artificial intelligence is there right now so main thing a main challenge for a cl any clinical research is a uh, recruitment of people okay just now vaccine arrived in our country so you might have seen so many things so many news are coming about the vaccine uh, some may be false some may be true that you are seeing the news prior you haven't uh, seen any news about the recruitment processes and anything so during this pandemic we are uh, uh, we are getting the news about patient recruitment now some trials now uh, some trials are there suppose some trials are for the cancer so you need a, a patient with particular type of cancer now suppose if the trial is originating from india 
and you don't have many patients from india so how how you recognize that where those patients are and how you can recruit them so ai is very useful in that if you are putting uh, details of the patients in computing system you are uh, giving information about everything that which kind of uh, cancer this person is having uh, which kind of uh, uh, his reports are there what kind of medicine he is taking right now so if this kind of all the data is there in computers okay so suppose if someone is uh, sitting in usa if he is uh, typing the data okay so he easily get the answer that this particular person is having this kind of cancer and he can try to recruit that particular patient in the trial okay apart from that also very important thing that you you can also understand the, uh, the which a particular population is going to be affected positively or negatively by your medicine okay so it is very important that artificial intelligence is uh, used in this particular patient selection or recruitment processes and uh, very uh, apart from that Uh, if you see now uh, all the processes we know we need it by done, done it by automatically right now automatic cars have come people people are you know uh, more involved in this automatic stuff mm. so uh, just now just like now i have given you an example of ct scan or mri scan so which gives you a particular idea about covid same way if suppose uh, if uh, there is a trial if any trial is going on so they have to assess the patient every day okay they have to take mri they have to take ct scan then they have to see that uh, suppose if it is a cancer so what is the tumor size okay they have to uh, measure it uh, manually but if you have ai enabled ct scan so directly you will come to know about size the weight uh, about the particular uh, information about that patient okay if if he is from uh, if you need to understand about tumor size if you understand about arthritis progress everything you will get from that so all the process are become automatic using artificial intelligence in clinical research there is also example uh, of ge healthcare they have saved almost around 80 million dollar can you believe 80 million dollar uh, just by eliminating a uh, redundancy in negotiating contracts now uh, this is also very uh, important so uh, during this particular um, you know uh, during the artificial uh, sorry during the clinical research uh, there are many um, uh, we can say documents are coming to you 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 also have to send many documents to the company uh, to the agencies okay so during that particular uh, uh, for that particular period you need to hire some people to just go through all the things and just uh, give the conclusion of that particular paper so actually artificial intelligence can give you a conclusion directly by going through all the paper so your all the time is saved all, along with that uh, the money is also saved so this level of work is right now uh, performed using um, artificial intelligence apart from that uh, now uh, when you are getting any data during a particular clinical trial so you need to make a decision whether to go ahead or not to go ahead with the particular trial which is very important decision for any industry okay so artificial intelligence is actually helping in that particular decision to humans it is actually not replacing humans work it is actually aiding it is facilitating the human to make a right decision whether to go for that particular trial in the next phase or not so this is very important use of uh, artificial intelligence in clinical research and apart from that the also a very important thing that is uh, nowadays is performed by ai that is end point detection it detects the patterns in vast volumes of data and interpret their meanings okay if you are going through if you are getting a data of uh, suppose 10000 people or if it is a small trial then if you are getting a data of 200 or 300 people so you for that 300 people you are getting a number of data okay from what they did so it, it depends on the trial it depends on the medicine for uh, which purpose you are going to uh, going for the trial so it details uh, it go through all the data and in, interprets its simple simplified meaning that okay this is the end point or this is the conclusion of your particular trial 
so this all work is performed by artificial intelligence okay so definitely uh, ai has a very big role to play in future also you can see many new things are coming uh, in our, uh, in this particular domain sorry sir thank you so much for that so sir so, uh, as a pharmacy student myself how should i be preparing for the ai uh see uh as i told you that ai is actually for facilitating our work it is not going to replace us okay so very simple thing is study well uh, be subject level expert understand your subject uh, uh, particularly very well and become a expert means go for master so phd uh, whatever is the possible for you people also or uh, don't limit yourself to study books look for knowledge around uh, try to understand about how uh, actually industries are performing uh, understand the industry level processes uh, find out industries where uh, where ai based machines employed where they are uh, working uh, using artificial intelligence try to find out uh, those in the uh, industries and try to understand their working level okay and also Uh, you can have some courses uh, uh, which are there a uh, programming level which are utilized for ai just like a python perl bash or any other scripting language are there so you can learn those languages uh, through extra classes you can join okay it all, it's all depends on your interest okay your uh, your ability to learn new things okay and there is also a uh, things that you can go for bioinformatics or pharmacy informatics uh to for higher study to understand more about artificial intelligence because these subjects are uh, particularly having a uh, coding knowledge uh, along with uh, your scientific knowledge so you can go for these also in the future and you can become a uh, you can have a chance to go ahead with the artificial intelligence in future thank you so much sir shortly we'll try to update ourselves with the evolving ai and healthcare So, sir, uh, my last question would be, uh, you know, like, what would be the jobs that would be available for us once this AI comes into the healthcare industry? See, uh, as I told you, AI already came in healthcare industry. Okay. Already, it is implemented in India, and already scientists, right now, pharmacy people are working in India also. It's a very simple thing. Uh, suppose if you are going for uh, M Pharm. or phd in medicinal chemistry so you can join in ai industry as medicinal chemist uh what there is a medicinal uh, chemistry you have to work with artificial intelligence and machine learning to save computational platform to maximize say, its impact on drug discovery programs uh you can uh, finalize drug candidates for trials uh you can also contribute to prepare programs or algorithms which are required for artificial intelligence you can work with data scientists ux ui designers nlp researchers and software engineers uh, in this particular role so if you are going for medicinal chemistry so definitely you can work in cadd areas and all and you can work in that right now also many uh, ai based companies in india uh, ai based companies are specifically who are working uh, for ai i'm not talking about specifically pharmaceutical industries which are working uh, or which are there in ai i am not talking about those industry i am talking about health uh, industry which are purely in uh, artificial intelligence in healthcare so this type of industries are uh, very few okay so but in foreign these roles are there people are working in that pharma professionals are working in that apart from that pharmacists can also work as a data specialist uh, in data this particular role uh, they have to evaluate and enter time sensitive clinical data so see clinical data is uh, you cannot uh, require or you cannot put any simple uh, professional uh, just like a basic degree holder to sit and just put the data no you need specialist for this particular uh, things because uh, uh, you also have to recognize any discre discrepancies are there in that particular data if any problems are there in that particular data you also have to identify those things so for that particular purpose you need a specialist means pharmacy professionals uh, also during your masters and during your uh, maybe few colleges are offering during your final years uh, you are publishing papers in journals so there is a journal editorial guideline same way 
uh, in clinical research also there there are editorial procedures so you need to follow those procedure and those procedures are very very hard so you need to be uh, you need to be well qualified you need to be you need to have proper understanding about uh, this particular system particular agencies just like fda if you are working in india you need to understand about working procedures with cdc code the rules and regulations and these all things are required for this particular uh, data specialist role and you need to be a domain expertise okay so this this kind of uh, jobs are there which uh, where pharmacies can actually work also if you are a pharmacologist definitely you can work in clinical trials and we as we discuss about clinical trials uh these all roles are there that in pharmacovigilance and clinical trials you can work along with uh, ai system and you can perform uh with time you learn uh, when you are joining in the industry definitely you may not know about these all things but uh, as you are progressing as as you are grasping knowledge you are knowing and understanding about these all processes uh also as uh, see in india clinical research uh, industries are well established and they, they are use, utilizing ai for this particular purpose and pharmacists are hired in that particular roles even in uh, if you are aware or not the tcs uh, tata consultancy service they are hiring uh, many pharmacists in pharmacovigilance where they give them a training for particular 6 months or 1 year period and after that they are employing them in particular job also medical device industry is there where pharmacy people can actually work in medical device industries also uh because in medical device industry now uh, things are very much computerized so if uh, mainly they are hiring uh, um healthcare professionals or physicians but pharmacists can also work on some extent in this particular industry also if they are creating any new type of devices so they need proper understanding about physiology proper understanding about the medicines if it is uh, some device which eluting drugs or anything like that so uh, definitely there are many jobs available right now also okay we also hired few basic uh, uh, people through our our platform through pharma dude or we hired uh, uh, few of the ai based industry from india advertise on our platform also so many jobs are available for pharmacy professionals definitely uh, people can work so you need to be a domain expert the main thing is that you have to understand your subject properly which is a main requirement for this particular uh, purpose okay because ai is nothing is not something different it is actually involved in uh, right now also ai is involved in uh, our lifestyle but the thing is that we are not aware or we are not understanding the how it is working so definitely there are many jobs are there yeah thank you sir that definitely relieved and thank you so much for this session for updating us with all your knowledge and because of this talk you know even i am very much ex more excited now to learn more about ai about all these courses and update my knowledge so Let that listen niper niper is having a course on pharmacy informatics uh, if uh, any uh, bright students are there they can definitely join in that particular course and uh, they are getting good salaries also in india itself so definitely more many more opportunities will come in future as the time is uh, passing but right now also many opportunities are there in this particular field thank you okay. so much thank you thank you thank you for, for inviting me thank you very much thank you so much sir, for joining us <laughs>